Hello, I welcome you all to this another interesting screencast. The problem reads uh, determine the shear and moment as a function of x, where x is from 0 to 3 and x is from 3 to 6, and then draw the shear and moment diagrams. This problem is coming from uh, the Engineering Mechanics and Statics uh, textbook, 13th edition by RSC Tibella. So we have a cantilever beam with a couple at A and a concentrated load at mid span. Let's draw the free body diagram. At A where we have a hinge, you expect AY and AX. Okay. At B where we have a roller, we expect just a BY. Alright, let's apply the equations of equilibrium. Summation of moments about point A equal to zero and clockwise been our reference what we have we have minus 12 since this is a clockwise moment our convention is anti-clockwise positive then we have minus 4 by 3 then we have a plus by 6 equal to 0 therefore by is just going to be equal to Minus 12, minus 12, minus 4 by 3, divided by 6, therefore by is just going to be equal to 4 kilonewtons. Let's find what Ay is, summation of forces in the y equal to 0, we have Ay plus by minus 4 equal to 0. What is our by? Let's, we already know what by is. We replace it there. Therefore, our ay is just going to be equal to, so we have 4 minus 4. That's 0, right? Okay. So Ay is zero. Interesting. Summation of forces. Uh, summation of forces in the x direction equal to zero. Of course, we know Ax of course is going to be equal to zero kilonewtons. So this is equal to four kilonewtons. Ay we said is equal to zero kilonewtons and Ax is just going to be equal to zero also kilonewtons. So we have two intervals. Interval one and two, one is from zero to three and two is from three to six. So we'll do sections in both and we are going to be moving from A towards B. So let's make our first section there. We call this part where we are sectioning as part one. Point of one, part one. Let's draw that quickly and then we start working. So there we go. That portion like that. So that point is A and we have, we only have a moment of 12 kilo newton meters. And then, of course, the length is uh, x in that direction. This point is 1, we said. So we have v1 and the moment of m1. So summation of moments about point 1 equal to 0 and clockwise. So we'll have minus 12. Okay. Minus 12 plus m1 equal to 0. Therefore, m1, which is a function of x in interval 1, will just be equal to 12. So it's a constant. All right. Let's go to the, let's find what shear is in interval 1. We are still in interval 1. Let me put on top here interval. So we are in interval 1 from x. 
it will move this a little bit down and interval one so we are saying x is from 0 to 3 just to the left of c okay then summation of forces in the y equal to 0 going up being our reference positive um what do we have v1 is going to be equal to 0 okay so i can write this i will say v1 of x is just going to be equal to 0 so we are not going to have in this region we are going to have what is called pure bending pure bending mm -hmm. great let's go to the next interval which is from 3 just to the right of c from 3 to 6 so we'll make a section at this point all right and we are going to use the left hand side section okay again could use the right if you wanted to but in this problem i'm just following this direction of the arrow which more or less implies that they've already they are telling us to use just one side so this is a of course we have a moment layer of 12 kilonewtons 12 kilonewtons 12 kilonewtons meter then we have a concentrated load of 4 kilonewtons and then this point we're calling it 2 so we have a v2 and m2 and then from there to there this is a 3 of course our x let's say our x is up to there and we are moving from a, a towards b let's also include this part here this part this part is uh it is going to be equal to x minus 3 right so now let's work out the equations so we are going to have a minus 12 mm -hmm. and then we have a plus 4 times x minus 3 mm -hmm. then plus m2 equal to 0 therefore our m2 our m2 is equal to uh, a minus 12 and uh, a minus 12 from this other end becomes 24. Okay, and then we have later on 4x. So this is going to be equal to minus 4x. Okay, plus 24, right? Great. And then, of course, let me write this as m2 as a function of x which is equal to minus 4x plus 24 and then summation of forces in the y equal to 0 what do we have we have minus 4 minus v2 equal to 0 therefore our v2 of x is just going to be equal to minus 4 right let's now draw our free i mean we draw uh, the bending moment diagram draw the bending moment diagram and the shear diagram let's start doing the work okay so let's put our shear there use a black line we put our shear there and then we put our bending moment let's say somewhere there all right 
let me put it somewhere here i think that's here it's okay right so we have positive negative positive negative and then this is our shear force diagram and this is our bending moment diagram great great so here we are so let's start with interval one interval one in interval 1, we have v1 of x equal to 0, so it is just 0 throughout from, from, from 0 to the left of c, which is uh, 3, left of c. So this is just going to be 0 up to there. Okay. And then in interval 2, interval 2, what do we have? Uh, let's find out interval 2 we have v2 of x just equal to minus 4 so it's going to be a constant so from there we expect just a drop like so let's call this as our 4 of course minus 4 okay and this constant i mean is is constant up to there and then finally a closure okay so this is four kilonewtons and this negative okay then um let's move to moment what do we have in interval one moment in interval one mx of one it's going to be equal to, we've already been told it's 12. So let's plot that. Uh, let's plot that. So let's say from A there, we've been told it's going to be equal to 12. So let's say it's going to move maybe up to somewhere there. Let's call this point here is our 12 kilonewtons meter. So this applies, this applies is a constant, so it will be the same from 0 to 3. So this is a 12 kilonewtons meter. Okay, so we'll have a constant value like so. Up to there. Then when we reach there, let's go to interval 2. Interval 2, uh, we have m2 of x equal to minus 4x plus 24. And m2 at x equal to 3, we are going to have a positive 12. And m2 at x equal to 6, we are going to have a minus 24 plus 24 which gives us a zero okay so 12 that's where we are starting from and then from 12 we are going directly to zero closure mm -hmm. up to there like so great um let me just move this I move it, I think it be somewhere there. Right. So let me just write that. So we said up is positive. Up is positive and down is negative. So all this is positive. Okay, this point here the 12 kilonewton meters all right uh i guess we are done let me just clean up i guess we are done um this is about it 
we have the function an interval one for moment which is just a constant and we have a function for shear in interval one that's equal to zero and then in interval two for moment there we go and as well as uh, for shear in interval two there we go all right so this is about it and i hope the video was helpful and if it was give me a thumbs up like my video continue subscribing and liking my channel bye and i'll see you in my next uh, screencast